your home. Oh, cool. Okay, it's May 19th. Supposed to have a clear night tonight. So, we're ready. I'm going to image the pinwheel galaxy, try to get a few more minutes on that. But that's not the most important part. I was perusing YouTube the other night, watching astrophotography videos, as I sometimes do. And I came upon this channel I'd never heard of before called Deep Sky Detail. And apparently, he has created some free software. He's my favorite person today. His software uses AI to sharpen your astrophotography images. I was getting a little jealous of the people with PixInsight and Blur Exterminator. It seemed to make it quite easy to sharpen up your pictures, but this is maybe kind of a free version. It uses AI. That's the cool part because AI is the catchphrase of the year. But we're going to try it out. I guess it's been out for a while, but it could only do black and white images before, but now it does color. So you just have to import a TIFF file and click go. That's my kind of software. All right, let's do it. Okay, it's the next morning. I had to quit shooting about 2.30 because, of course, clouds moved in. Here I have all my images stacked in serial. So the plan is I will edit it normally except for not do any sharpening or deconvolution or anything like that. I'll just do background extraction, color calibration, the normal stuff, run it through StarNet probably and get the image to where I usually get it without the deconvolution. And then we will run AstroSharp. So let's go to that point. Okay, here we are. So, 
unfortunately Astro Sharp is a Windows only product so we'll save this off and I'm actually remoted into my laptop so we'll run it from there we will save this as a TIFF file name it m101 unsharpened.tiff Put it here. And we'll go to remote desktop. Put that right there. And now I have my Astro Sharp folder right here. I'll put a link in the description where you can download the zip file. I just unzipped it on my desktop for now, so all you do is run astrosharp.exe. Okay, comes up like this. We just choose browse to browse to our file. Click open. It uploads it and we sit here and wait. And this little progress bar will go all the way over, so you just have to sit here and wait for it. And after this goes away, then we just click on download sharpened file. Okay, so we are done. It shows us the original and the sharpened. So we just have to click on download sharpened file. And we'll just put it in our downloads directory. Okay, also, you know, I just left everything at default. Uh, apparently, if you click on first beta, that will sharpen the noise also so if you have a noisy image like I did because I didn't have a lot of time uh, you probably won't want to use that but if you have a really clean image I guess you could and we also have color in black and white and this slider if you have a huge mosaic um, he says you can slide it all the way up but this seems to be the sweet spot so I just left everything the way it was. So let's move everything back to the Mac and we'll take a closer look. Okay, here we are in GIMP. I am super zoomed in, so it's very noisy. But this is the original image. And here is the sharpened image. So I hope you can see that on YouTube. Um, it's quite a bit of difference. Unsharpened. Sharpened. Now I do notice some little dark halos around the stars. Uh, I don't know if you'll notice that as much when you're zoomed out but there is that but there is the image normally regular sharpened So far I like it. I think I got a lot to learn. Um, this was just a quick edit though, so I could probably do better if I really tried. Anyway, I just found this cool software I thought I'd share. So if you found it interesting, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments anything you think and 
I'll talk to you later and clouds suck. Thank you.